After two hours, the nurse comes back to take the patient to the treatment room, equipped with an electrocardiogram machine, an oxygen tank, a suction set, medical rescue equipment, and drugs used in emergency medicine. Ms. Majay, we are ready to start the procedure. We ask that you work closely with us during the procedure. You must inform us about any side effects that might appear, such as sudden pain, dyspnea, general weakness. Of course. I will do my best to cooperate with you. Before the doctor comes, I will insert a PVC into your left hand and apply medications via the IV route. According to the doctor's orders, you will be given analgesics and antitacids. These medicines will facilitate the performance of the procedure. Do you agree to that? Well, yes, I agree. However, I do not really understand what antitussives and IV route are. Can you please explain? IV means that we will administer the drug directly into your vein via peripheral venous catheter. Antitussives are drugs that will help to suppress your cough. It is a routine element of thoracentesis. Thank you. Now it is more clear to me. The nurse follows all the rules and procedural steps when she was inserting the PVC into the patient's vein. Just as the doctor was entering the treatment room, the nurse was about to administer the necessary medication. Good morning, Ms. Matik. I'm Dr. Mazurik and I will perform a thoracosynthesis on you. This is basically the same as the pleural tap, which is an invasive procedure to remove the fluid from the pleural space for diagnostic purposes. Can you please remove your pyjama top and sit on this chair, back to front with your arms leaning on the table? Okay, doctor. Is it the right position? Not quite. Please move closer to the table. Yes, that's fine now. The nurse will cover you with surgical cloth, uncovering the puncture site at the same time. All right. Thank you. Me?